Up first this Sunday morning, we are doing case break number four of the new 2019 Topps Heritage Baseball. This one is by teams. So here are your teams, in case you forgot. Has been a long weekend, I forgot. <laughs> Maybe they also partook in some... Mardi Gras festivities? Yeah, or, you know, just wine and too much food last night. Well, that was you. Right. I said also. Yeah, four, five, and six did sell out in order. You know why? Because I tricked y'all. I tricked y'all. Hey, Mississippi. Usually we put up the team's breaks and then the random break. And one of the team's breaks fills and the random fills. And you guys pick on the last team. So I did them out of order. I put the random break right in the middle. That way you would fill them in order. Thinks he's clever. He's not even in this product yet. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I can't imagine if I were a Phillies fan. I'd be so stoked. My blues are starting to let me down. They almost got me all hyped. Then those evil cane hurricanes ruined, ruined my night. Mississippi was all happy. Alright, that's good enough. Yeah, we're overdue for a Brute Crew Sig. Let's see that yeah, old Bud Sealer. Really so just a reminder, it was in the break description for the box toppers. If it's a poster or one of the short printed... 70 or one of these uh, 1970 buybacks those will go to the teams but the oversized ones in order to keep the cost of shipping down all those will be combined into one lot and randomed at the end of the break John Kennedy old pilots card hometown Chicago Illinois that one's actually in pretty good shape, too. Did you see a, oh, so that'll a be player? Bre that'll be Brewers. That one's neat. It's a good one. Some of those haven't been in the best condition, but that one looks nice to me. Yep, Brewers. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's busy admiring. <laughs> yeah, a lovely bunch of jerks. That's <laughs> rookies. I forgot to look for a high number in that one. It's right Flashbacks. There. So, did anybody do anything for Mardi Gras yesterday? We. Did not. Well, it wasn't for Mardi Gras, but... Well, we went out, but yeah. Went out and had a nice dinner. Had number Hanniger. Had some jambalaya. Yeah, we both had jambalaya. So yeah, that kind of was... Kind of that was our celebration. And we had king cake again. It's true. Thing's about 75% gone. Soda, new age performer. You flew for six hours. That's not fun. That was UCCF, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ate too much. Mardi Gras is, lasts for a week, really, doesn't it? Where's Kraus? Kraus needs to give us the whole background Spiel. on it. Yeah. yeah. Here's a um, action variation. It's the uh, single or solo larger rookie card. Toronto. Got the blue Danny blue. Jansen. Love the glasses. It's got Toronto. Trenier. You got free beads. <laughs> I forgot about about King of Queens about that. I used to love that show. Watch it all the time. Yeah, whiskey counts. How would whiskey not count? High number Chapman. It's actually bonus points. Wait, whiskey counts for what? I missed it. Celebrating. Oh yeah. Then and now. Hey Omni and Mr. Omni or Omni Sire. <laughs> How are you guys today? 
Sam didn't keep you working until midnight last night, did he? Are you working right now? <laughs> Are you still working? <laughs> He's got a cot. High number Bueller. You bought something purple, green, or cold? He is at the shop. Yeah, I <laughs> kind of figured. Better internet or working this morning, too? Uh, there's a trout scratch off. For the Angels, uh, UCCF. Scratch off. Scratch it. Ryan and I were talking about it. We think we're going to have to get one, like a duplicate one, just so that we can actually play the game. Yeah, you can scratch them off. Have you seen these things yet? Starley Marte. Uh, high number. Here, just so you can see what the inside looks like. So all the little boxes in there are scratchable. And I think they really are. Yeah. yeah I mean, under they each are. one, it says, you know, single, double, pop fly, strike out. And then on the back is a scorecard. So you take turns with a friend, or if you don't have a friend, just use, you know, Horrific. left hand and right hand. <laughs> no, UCCF. That's not the kind of game we're playing with this one. Although it probably wouldn't be too hard to rip this one. But isn't that cool? Yeah, those are fun. That's my favorite thing so far in these. Sartin. That's good. Sartin. Sartin. That's what I did all yesterday and most of today so far. New Age Performer, Christopher... No, it's not Christopher Lee. Bias. I'm bias. So Sam isn't there. Not very nice, Brian. Yeah, UCCF didn't get to see all the uh, names that we found in the last one. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> we'll try to confuse them. It's last names on all of these. On the back of all these cards. Middle names. Or full names is full what names. I'm trying to say. It's full names on the cards. So it's kind of fun to see what everybody's full names are. Clubhouse Collection, uh, James Paxton for Seattle. Liam Lowe. It's also strange to see how many baseball players do not go by their actual first name. Yeah, quite a few. Most of the ones named Richard or Donald or... <laughs> I'd say it's a good 10%. Feels like it. <laughs> quite a few. Romuto. High number. Jacob Taylor Ramuto. My favorite for some reason is Christopher Lee and Donald. <laughs> that one cracks me up. I like this picture of Judge. He looks like tough in that one. Doesn't usually look like that. He's pretty smiley. Call him Judge a weenie. No. I like Judge, but he just looks a little bit tough, a little bad in that picture. Hey, Jeff Bart. Rookies. Shinsu Chu, high number. I'd like to see, uh, what was it that we were looking at on the checklist for these that we said we hadn't seen that we wanted There's yet. a number of things we hadn't yeah. seen yet. Yeah, no, I mean like in general, like any time we've done Heritage, there was... It's just gone now. When we were looking at the possibilities. Lindor, high number for Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, he, he plans his vacations around drill breaks, trips, all the above. So super. What do you think of these UCCF? I'm assuming you've seen them, but I can drool over them again. These things are so cool. What's his name on this one? Brooks Calvert Robinson. Super. So let's go into the lot. I might have rescheduled. <laughs> 
Who, uh, who had Orioles? Ken. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I did that. I guess because he said... <laughs> you guys... Yeah. So the supers are the ones that get randomness a lot at the end. Yeah. The oversized cards, just because that gets really expensive to ship. We have to use oversized boxes for those. Miguel Andrew, high number. You gotta uh, check out the uh, poses for the uh, Cardinals cards, UCCF. I don't know what's with my Cardinals. They have some odd uh, poses in these. There's a flashback. Let's see. Nothing? No? This is Drew we have for his first break. Rockies. Oh, awesome, Juby. Welcome. It's a high, uh, short print and a, I mean, a rookie and a high number of Bogarts. Another bush card. Yeah, another bush card. <laughs> I can't believe I never noticed that. New Age Performer, Baez. Well, the Red Sox are UCCF. Mississippi has a trip planned. Does that mean you're for sure coming? There's a Molina high number. Another two new people on the breaks today. Awesome. Thames high number for the Brewers. Beantown. Awesome. Make sure you get a hotel soon. It's, well, it's Chicago, so it's not as hard as Cleveland, but... Yeah, but the ones right there tend to fill up pretty quick. If, yeah, if you want to be right there in the area in the area where the uh, convention center is, you have to book it pretty early. New Age Performer Verlander. It's the best part about the Chicago one. Hotels within walking distance, food within walking distance. So how far is it for you guys? So rookies for the pirates. Book it after breaks. Awesome. It's my favorite card. Mississippi, you didn't see this. I don't think you were watching last time. It's my, that's my favorite card from this set. After I nicknamed him Skingery with uh, Series 1 and now I like his picture so much. I think he's like my new... He's like my Byron Buxton this year. Uh, scratch off Trout. Didn't I just get this one? Yeah, twice as nice. Double now up. you can play one, like I was saying. That was UCCF, right? Yep. Put one scratch off on either side of the table. Take Dude. turns running from end to end playing himself. It works. Save it for the National. Wait, are you coming to the National UCCF? I can't remember if you said that. I haven't, I hadn't been thinking too much about it, but the tickets go on sale tomorrow. Like, it's, it's going to be here before we know it again. It's crazy. Alright, I won't get my hopes up. Yeah, that's really hard. Ryan and I have been trying to plan a vacation. Uh, in the spring and our early summer, and it's just Ryan so has so many projects going on too. I know how that is. Zobrist Clubhouse Collection for the Cubbies. UCCF got like a button or like spot on there. Something was stitched in there. Twelve hour drive. Yeah, that's. Doable in a day, but it's a lot more. I don't know. You know. It's better to split it up, like when we did when we went to Cleveland. High number short prints. Split it up, made it a little more easier to swallow going yeah, there. It was. Going home, we just did it straight through, though. But yeah, Chicago is awesome. That's a. I mean, it's a boring-ish drive, but it's it's nice. It's calm. Get to walk, look at all the. Uh, what are they called? Wind Turbo farms. The wind farms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ben Attendee Chrome to nine ninety nine. 
for Boston. Hokey. So like five five hour drive for us? Five yeah. hours, yeah. Yes, because we drive at the speed limit. Of course. Of course. What else would we be doing? I don't know. Segura, high number. Yeah. Five hours. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it is an easy drive. Flashbacks. Philly Skira. Yeah, so apparently the way that the Phillies structured Kane. Harper's contract, they're going to try to make a run at Trout, too. What? After 2020. That would be a team. I wonder if we'll get a Tops one in this again. Probably not, but... The Tops teammates. Oh, yeah. In That's this great. case. Al William Kaline. Is that the one that Sam doesn't know if he's dead or alive? Okay. Still alive, Kaline? Where he calls him? I think that was Sam's guy. Still alive. <laughs> yeah, Philly's going to be exciting to watch. Hi, number Scherzer. Brian uh, sent me a link that Scherzer has a Funko. I was going to send it to you. It's like, that's awesome. And you can see his eyes real clear. The background with the uh, perfect Simpsons sky. That's the oh. Cardinals' biggest regret that they didn't chase Scherzer. They didn't know if he still had a lot left in the tank, obviously they were wrong. This that they didn't know, so they just didn't take the risk. Yeah. Guriel, a uh, high number. Would have been nice to have him come home. Yeah. Through each performer. Looks like it could be an action. And it is. JD Martinez, Boston, Hokey. An action variation. Anytime I see a sky that looks like that, like the perfect clear blue with the whatever kind of clouds those are, <laughs> uh, I always call it Simpson Sky just because Simpson's intro. Hey, hippie. How come your lady was on here before you? What were you busy doing? Still celebrating the Canes wins over the Blues. That was sad. I messaged Mississippi about it right when it started and then watched us fall apart. And I'm like, maybe I just shouldn't have said anything about that game. Oh, uh, okay. You had work to do. Chris Sale, high number. My plan was to go pick up some Starbucks this morning and uh, maybe catch some Pokemon early, but a little bit too much snow for us to go out. There's a new scratch off, Chris Davis. Ace, Tri Town. Yeah, the Red Wings have been awful. I found a Pidgey, shiny Pidgey, high number Arietta. No Rotata though for me. I got nothing. Yeah, Mississippi I. <laughs> I would have deserved it, but I know exactly how you feel. I am super excited about what do we say 72 yeah 72 yeah. is 72 gonna be, nice. is gonna be the best 
uh, Perez for Kansas City Clubhouse Collection. I think each horse is going to have their own favorite. Chi Town. Hey, Mikey. For these. Hey, Mikey. I'm really excited about 72. Next year's will be okay, too, but. The autographs on these look really nice. They do. That's the best part. High number, short print, Ramirez. Yeah, what was the final uh, verdict on Salvi? Is he out for the whole year? Is it just uh, going to be a few months, a few weeks? New Age Performer, Ozzy Albies. I heard UCL, but I never heard the final verdict on that. Done for the year? Jeez. Uh, we like Salvi. Next year's is the one that looks like they took Polaroids and uh, made little tabs on them. There's a Harper. Harper. High number. One of his last ever Nationals cards. Mm -hmm. Flashback. Salvi was the guy. When we were sitting down near the uh, front row at the Cardinals game. We were playing the Royals. He came out before the game and started throwing sunflower seeds and bubble gum into the crowd. Was that him? That was him. Oh, that was awesome. There's a uh, Astros Rookies. Oh, that's nice. Kyle Tru Krull. Tucker Chrome. Yeah. Kyle Tucker Chrome. That's hard to say. <laughs> Kyle Trucker. Kyle Trucker Chrome. <laughs> Trucker Chrome. <Trump. laughs> that was like my real one Juan Soto. <laughs> real one Juan Real one Juan. <laughs> that was really not cool. Uh, Toddzilla. Is that what it is? Toddzilla? Yeah. That's what it is. I have a lot of new names in here today. I don't know if it's just because we have new people or if it's because it's on a Sunday, but I feel like there's a lot of new names. Chris Davis, high number. Purple crumbs. Yeah. One per case. I feel like the hot box has, has always been in the last box we did, I think. That was the last couple. It's near the end. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> oh, rookies. Oh, rookies. Off-centered rookies. With the stamp over his name. I mean, I guess it's nicer than his face, but... Or Bernie Car... Car... I don't know. Tony Richard Breeden and Bernardo Carbo. Reds. Colossus of Clout. I would almost like these buybacks more if they did not put the stamp on them. I, I'm back and forth. The on first it. one, this one, I liked for some reason. Like it fits perfectly where it is on the card. You know, it doesn't cover anything up. That one looks nice. This one, obviously, that's not nice. Yeah. Hey, so Callie. Oh. Boom. A Bob Gibson. His little little uh, heads turned around on the coin, but I've always wanted to get one of these. I think we've done the stamps before, but not the coins. That is so cool. A 1970s U.S. dime. That looks pretty good for a 1970s coin. I think they cleaned it up. Polished <laughs> they it have someone up. in the back <laughs> cleaning the coins. Gave him a bunch of spare change. He said, go out to your car, <laughs> grab all the coins you can, and polish them up. That looks really nice. You know, for a 70s retro look, that is clean. It looks really cool. What is that number two? Ten! Oh, it makes sense. It's a dime. Four of ten. Better than nothing. That is so cool. Heritage Mint. I've always wanted to get something like this one. This is the kind of stuff that I'm so obsessed with. Like, I know it's a coin, but... I don't know. It's unique. There's people on both sides of the fence. You know, people who only want jerseys or relics or... Things like that, but that's... I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. That looks awesome. Put it in something nice. Get it protected. Uh, high number Hosmer for the Padres. No, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if they just don't want to, um, like, glue it in there so it just f turns freely. It has, like, a little plastic cover on it. You can't even touch the coin to turn it. Oh, well. Can't complain about that, I suppose. It is no goose card. Yeah. Well, that was fun. 
and unexpected. New Age Performer Torres. I think so too, Jeff Bart, but you're going to have, I mean, there's always different types of people, you know, what everybody likes different stuff. For me, a lot of what I like about cards is visual, um, if they look good in an artistic manner, you know, and that looks awesome and I think it's really cool. Sterling Castro for the Marlins high number. But yeah, I think it's super cool. Flashback. Well, yeah, because Plain White Square Fabric is also a 10 cent card, so. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That one just looked nice, too. Very 70s. So are the stamps in this still? I hope so, because that's. I really like stamps. D. Gordon. Uh, high number. Pretty sure I saw those on the checklist. Man, I'm so glad I said that at the beginning of the case. I th feel like I willed it into uh, whatever existence. Because we were looking over the uh, possibilities, and I remember seeing uh, those in there. What was the series? There was a manufacturer back in the early 2000s where if you held their relic cards up to the light, you could see a strip on the back of the fabric that shows the player's name. Posey high number. And I had a couple of those cards where I held it up and the strip with the player's name did not match the player on the card where they put the wrong fabric in. I never heard of that. That was early 2000s and I cannot remember. I'll have to go through my boxes and pull those. If you're gonna do the whole thing you should have done quarters being to 25 nickels being to five and dimes being to 10 even though they're worth the opposite you know they should have just gone with it to me there's a yadier scratch off have penny one of one cards trash panda there are stamp cards yay yeah i wanted to say it was upper deck brian I have to go pull some of my old upper deck cards, but yeah, if you held them up to a bright light, you could see the player's name behind the fabric, and I swear there were several that were messed up. Will Myers high number. That's really kind of fun. I didn't know about that. I'll have to show you those. Here's our flip stock. Oh wow! It's a NLCS. I should say our flip stock, like we get one in every case. You don't get one of these in every case, guys. It's like one per three cases or something. Yeah. So this is very, very rare. Print run of five. I was not expecting it on this, which of course it could be. So, Who's Dodgers. Got Dodgers. Uh, Mississippi! You got the flip stock. That's huge. You think these are, out of, these are out of five, right? Yep. Yeah, out of five and super rare. That is awesome, Mississippi. You can see the shine on the back when the light's on it. Put that in something. Keep it safe. That's only the second one we've gotten. So we're actually two for four. Two we're doing four. well. Yeah, we're ahead of the pace. We're ahead, yeah. That's really cool, Mississippi. High number, Jeanette. Is it Jeanette or Jeanette? I said it was Jeanette. But a Reds fan can correct us if we're wrong. No one tells Sam. <laughs> no one tells Sam. <laughs> oh, he's probably watching. A couple of rookies. Jeanette. It's so funny because I'll ask people how to say something. Chicago Stanton, high number, and then they'll send something, and then I still am not sure... <laughs> from even that what they mean which is not your fault it's just it's really hard to this card not a fan I'm not a fan of that card it needs to go in my collection of cards though just that I find humorous yeah for those of you that are new to Jules Breaks she has a ongoing collection of hump cards 
punk cards and then some questionable ones that I make me laugh. Michaelis, high number. That ridiculous mustache. Yeah, flip stock. Oh, yeah, that's in the same box. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But then again, whenever Scooter. you get something like the... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> whenever you get something like a coin card, you know it's stuffed in the middle of anything. Like, yeah. it's so random. Mustache. Another original. Indians, Chuck Hinton. Charles Edward. Or, yeah, Charles Edward Hinton. Cleveland. Cranky Yankee. Well, that's not bad. I mean, the corners are a little messed up, but centering is much better on that one. And the stamp is in a good spot. Not covering up. Poor person's name. We had win one of those buybacks in the last case. That was pretty rough looking. Yeah. The one that was like a gouge through yeah, the front. It was <laughs> creased in half. But he's yeah. been pretty good. Yeah. Up there. Uh, plow on the street. Plow on the there. street. Yeah. Joey Votto, high number. Ed Norton. <laughs> A lot of rookies in this one. Look at that. Three rookies in that pack. It's a deal. Yeah, this days where I break um, on the weekend. Sadly, this does. This is out of bed earlier for me. I'm one of those people that if Ryan lets me, I could probably stay in bed till like what nine thirty ten. You just lay there all day if you can get your butt moving. <laughs> Various. Eventually, I want food. I number. <laughs> We could do morning breaks if everybody gets their cup of coffee. New Age Performer Bregman. I was going to say, Jules is so basic. Easiest way to get her out of bed. Starbucks Run. There's a team name variation. Yeah, Starbucks Run is the easiest way to get me out of bed. Throw on a t-shirt and or a jacket or whatever and shoes. I'm going. We aren't... I feel like... Who's that? Toddzilla. Well, it's not, I feel like those are rare. -er. That's one of the rare. Yeah, rare -er. team names more rare than the action. Rare. -er. Rare. -er. I'm having a lot of trouble. Isn't he a cop? No, that's Rover. -er. <laughs> that's the other guy. Uh, rookies. High number. Uh, Adam Jones. I kind of like that picture. Let me see that. Adam Jones. Yeah, look at that one. That's cool. He looks kind of. I don't know. Just a good card. I like the image. Yeah, what time was the race today, Hippie? Hopefully it's later in the day so we can turn that on. We're doing good with our races this year. We've watched the last two. Yeah. We missed we, a bunch of them last year. I don't year. think we watched any last year. Yeah, Maybe the first Daytona one. Daytona and... We were really bad. But it was because we were so high on the wrestling stuff. That's like... Yeah. We <laughs> Someone please sign me look. Yeah. Poor guy. Toasted coconut. <laughs> Three thirty Eastern. Okay, that's doable. There's a Christopher Lee. He's looking at that Cubs logo in the corner of the card. He's like, "How much longer am I going to have this on me?" <laughs> he has a look in his eye. That's for sure. I hope he stays with the Cubs. Me too. I mean, guys like that, I want to see him with the same team. Yep, we're suckers for that, though. Yep, Christopher with a K. Christopher Lee. That's his his official name from now on from me. There's a Kershaw scratch off for the Dodgers, Mississippi. Now you can play. Scratch it. <laughs> hey, you can go for a cup. There's a high number Hoskins. Who has his full name? Uh, Christopher Lee? Arnado. He looks kind of like... I don't know. He looks weird in that picture. Okay, Hippie can explain this one to me. I have not done my research, so shame on me. But, but what's with the new package on the cars this year? 
You know the restrictor plates are going away. Hey, Car King. And I should know what's going yeah. on, but I There's an autograph know. of Alex Bregman. Oh, sweet. That's a nice one. His card's so dark, but it's a good thing he has a white uniform on. Dark and stormy. Yeah. That's cool. Who's got the Astros? Todzilla. It's a cool one. It's the darkest card I've seen yet, yeah, though. Yeah, it's really, it's like, they, I think, I mean, it looks like they edited that to be that dark. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe that's like something from pay, paying homage to something, maybe, too. Uh, Contreras, high number. Lower horsepower, bigger spoiler. And you are new age performer. Okay. I won't judge it till after I watch a couple races. Korea, um, to nine ninety nine Chrome. Man, Astro's going off here. I need to find that Matt Carpenter card. Was that one of the short print high numbers? It must have yeah, been. Yeah, I think so. Because it we always talked about it. We get one or two in a case. I hope you find it. High number res for the Padres. Yeah, no bushes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't notice it until you notice it, then you can't unsee it. Yep, there we go. There's another There's one. There's a bush card. Bush back. Been that way for years with them. Yeah, I was pretty entertained with Atlanta. There's another one. Uh, Jules is going all in on Di Benedetto. I already loved him, Mazzara, but that was so exciting to see him leading. He's just such a nice guy. <laughs> Super. You don't just wait. UCCF, you'll see it. There's a Glaber David Torres for the lot. Which one's the one that has this sun in the corner that I like so much? Oh, Tani. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get to watch qualifying. We were in heritage heaven, we'll call it. Right. <laughs> Sounds kind of cute. Rosario. I want to see what happens first. Are we going to get done sorting heritage, or is Omni going to finish that triple E? I don't know. Omni's got Omni Sire, so yeah. he may be the key to success. Where is that carpenter? When we need it. High number Kluber. It'll appear when you least expect it. Probably. New Age Performer Bets. setting those half on the mat and half on the pad. Just trying to make it complicated for me. I know so, Ozzy Albies, yesterday, we were sorting for so long, you know, it just gets automatic, you know, placing the cards out, because I always use a mat with, you know, with the teams out there. I got done with uh, a stack, and I looked over at Ryan, and I was like, so, let's play a game. How about... I close my eyes, you name a team, and I'll see if I can point to where the cards go. How many times did I hit it out of the 10 or 12 times? Like 90% of the yeah. time. And if I missed it, it was only because I was off like a row or something. You could probably put a blindfold on and sort yeah, this. I this could point. actually sort. Well, except for the fact you couldn't see what card you were sorting. Right. But yeah, I can sort without looking now. It's. I knew that was a skill I'd eventually get, but it's weird to know that. Ooh, there's a nice one. To 50. Looks like it has an arch in the background. 
No, it's not, but I don't know what it is. That thing in the background is part yeah. of the batting cage, isn't it? So part I'm of sure the... it is, yeah. Black Bodie to 50. Oh, Nick's doing the hard stuff. Let's work his way up to the NT and the easier products. Herrera. Is it like that for you yet, Omni? Can you... Do you pretty much know where all the teams are on the mats when you're yeah, it's, sorting? It's UFO. <laughs> it's not flying, though, because it looks like it touches the ground. Well, it's an unidentified field object. Oh, that makes sense. My apologies. Scratch off uh, Lorenzo Kane. It's a new one. One draft team done. Push posers. Yeah, I missed out on DraftKings for UFC, and now I'm going to miss it for racing, too. I'm going to say today's going to be Kyle's day. Do little high number. He's due. I thought he won last week. He did not win last week. Did he win? Did he get no. Um, no. pole or something for this race? I saw something about him on Twitter. Well, he's from Vegas, so there's a lot of talk about him racing his home track. Yeah, I really wasn't. I don't pay attention to Kyle Busch stuff. I just happened to see. Oh, you're lost. Hey, there's a uh, Bryce Harper Chrome Refractor. UCCF. That's a nice one. Those are number to 570. You won the truck race? Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, I saw he won something last week. Bruce Hooper. That looks really nice. Like, again, visually, that's an awesome card. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah, Heritage is not a quick break, but never uh, ceases to entertain. Trout. A Harper followed by a Trout. Clubhouse collection for the Angels. UCCF. <laughs> Such a sweet greeting. <laughs> new people in chat. I, I wonder sometimes what it's like to be a new person in our group when they get into chat and they start seeing how everybody interacts. Springer, high number short print. I wonder if some people right away are just like, these people are weird. <laughs> Or are they like, I found my home, like, you know, these are my people? I guess it would be like one or the other really quickly, right? Yeah, we'll have to wreck him. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, that's one of the action the full size rookies. That's too nice one. White Sox, Chi Town. I like that one. Action. <laughs> What did I miss? Figure out the first day or two. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wonder what it horrified. <laughs> Scared, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Gotta feel it out. And of course, the Sam Breaks and the Jules Breaks have a little different feel. Yeah. I don't know which one is more... Uh, Accommodating? Whatever you'd want. I don't know what the right word is. Frightening. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to be if that's a compliment or if that's that's uh bad. I don't know if I want to be the same as everybody else. I guess we're all special in our own unique way. Jewels after dark is a whole different ball game. <laughs> Not everybody gets to see that one. Seems like it's a it's a certain group that hangs around for those. Yelich, high number. Yeah, that was weird about the Bregman card. I mean, the, the pose is different. The background's completely different. Well, no, no it isn't. It's just darker. You see it? So it, it zoomed in a little. I think that's what it is. That's what's different. They definitely edited it edited it. I'm thinking they must have done it on purpose. Well, it's the same pose, but oh, it's just cropped to put the uh, certified autograph issue tag at the bottom of the card, so it's a slightly smaller window. Yeah. yeah darker For card. some reason, they made them darker. I don't, like I said, maybe that's something to do with the 70s you know, look, or they were like that or something, maybe. Birdmeyer? For Kansas City? That one looks okay with the stamp, too. 
It is a little, that's a little off center. Uh, Kansas City, Chi Town. Nineteen. Yeah. The best version of yourself. <laughs> is it really the best? <laughs> Jaw <Jolly>. eye. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. So you go into your stud collection. Here, hold on, let me look again. He's too manly for me. Garrett Cole. Just well, what does that mean? That's super manly. I don't. I'm not quite that. I don't need that level of ruggedness. So I should stop my bear wrestling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll let it go. I'm used to it. The heritage is always going to be that way, though. Or else it wouldn't be what it is. Oh, that's really loud. Blake Snell, high number. <laughs> uh, don't make my comment worse. I like what he did with his nails. What? Uh, Mancini, Chrome to nine ninety nine. Wait, are we talking about meat or sand? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm confused. It's not the muscles, but I do like a lean figure. Like, more like hockey play or not hockey play. Yeah, hockey players or baseball players. I don't need any football player looks. To four ninety nine or to four ninety nine. High <laughs> number judge. Don't get me flustered, guys. We're early in the day. I don't need to be this flustered. I'm not saying we can't have much. Stop it. I'm just saying I don't need like big bulky people. That's all I'm saying. Oh, no, I'm too fat for you? Oh, my God. We're moving on to a new topic now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm blushing. Is that why it feels so good, Jules, right now? You guys are embarrassing me. <laughs> uh, Harper action. That's a nice one, UCCF. <laughs> Every time I get see raw chicken now, I'm going to think about that, Brian. It's gross. Uh, anyway, Bryce Harper action. That's a, that's a really nice card. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, the base cards may be simple or boring, you know, to some people. But then stuff like that just, I don't know. Just looks good. Just looks good. Yeah, I just like it. <laughs> I am blushing. Stop. Like, my cheeks hurt. Matt Kemp, high number. Oh, man. I'm just not reading chat for like 45 seconds so I can stop being embarrassed. Uh, Castro for Miami. Beantown Bush Posers. Sterling Castro, scratch off. Filling out the shipping address, you put the wrong state. Um, can you not go into your account and update your address? Oh, there it is. UCCF. I think there's a way to fix that. I never noticed this facial expression on top of the pose. The card is amazing. <laughs> no counting in chat. Yeah, go to my account on the website, and then you'll see a list of links on the right side. There's one that says addresses, and if you click on addresses, you can change your billing and shipping address. It's true, Mikey. Sometimes I laugh so hard it hurts. Like, and then I don't want to really like all out laugh because let's just say I don't have a sweet like cute little laugh. I mean, like I laugh, laugh, and I cannot do that on camera during breaks. It's, it would be obnoxious. So when you guys really get me laughing, I just have to look away because it's too much. What is that color? Is that what color their jerseys are? 
That was his underwear. <laughs> Ryan Braun Clubhouse Collection for the Brewers. Beantown Bush Posers. <sighs> so the Chicago hotels, the best ones to stay at. Here, I'll look that up for you real quick, Mississippi. Diaz for the Mets, high number short print. That color is not good. I didn't realize their jerseys were that color. New Age Performer Otani. So another black border. Alcantara. Alcan Alcantara. Al <laughs> Sandy. Uh, no, Alcantara. Alcantara? I forgot. Sam always says Alcantara, doesn't he? Is that why I said that? I thought you said Alcantara. I don't remember. Uh, Miami. Another Miami. Being town push posers. I'm telling you, this is what happens. I get all flustered and I can't do anything. I would say Thursday, Friday. For what days to come, if you can only go come to a few. Yeah, Thursday, I would not Friday. do Saturday. And Sundays, they all pack up yeah, early. Send everybody gets out of there as quick as they can. Saturday Saturday's is too busy. really crowded. Trevor Bauer. So, yeah, I would do Thursday, Friday. Um, I don't know if there's rooms left, but the Hyatt Regency is the one where it seems that most people like to stay. That's basically attached to the back side of the convention center. So those like tunnels to walk through and everything to get there. Yeah, you don't even to have just... to go out to the street. And it's easy to get from the show back to your room if you need to as well. I, mean, I know we all love public restrooms, but just saying. Um, if you don't get a room at the Hyatt, the other one's right there in the area. There's the Hilton Rosemont. Uh, there's an Embassy Suites right across the street. Uh, Double Tree right across the street. Those are both popular. And then on the corner is a Crown Plaza. Mikey, I should not be laughing at that. How do I laugh at your guys' ridiculous humor? So immature. <laughs> oh, it's our Otani one. I love this one. This is this is one of the prettiest cards. Yeah, that's a neat one. But just fair warning for everybody that uh, is coming to the National. <laughs> Can you list the amenities? <laughs> see that. Don't tempt him. God. 107 square foot. King size bed. Plush pillows. It's just a really nice looking card. The colors are vibrant. The sun looks pretty. But no, I think it's worth just mentioning to everybody that during the National itself, and Brian can vouch to this, it is super hectic for breaking. It is. Uh, there's our Donald Chrome, uh, Refractor Chrome, for the Diamondbacks, Donald Zachary Grinky to 570. So that's a hot box. Oh, that's, it's a purple. I thought it was the Refractor. It's a purple. The, it's not, it doesn't look purple until you hold it next to, yeah, let me see it. It's really not that blaringly obvious. So I don't see it until someone else tells me that. Anyway, hot box. But during the show itself, uh, Jewel, Sam, Omni, and I are usually scrambling around trying to get the brakes done. It's not the most easy atmosphere to get set up and do brakes in. No. So, like I said, Brian can, can vouch for it. Um, during the show itself, we're usually pretty busy. But we would love to hang out with everybody after hours. We did hotel breaks once. Um, really, Sam did the breaks and the rest of us drank too much. Yeah, Sam loves hotel breaks. Uh, Abreu. There's a clubhouse collection tie-on for the Pirates. Yeah, Jules after hours. Being town bush posers. It would be fun to do hotel breaks like with a group of people you know if we did it like in person and everybody just took their stuff 
And then it wasn't on camera, so when I really act like an idiot, it's not, you know, blackmail material. Well, they've got the, uh, the good place to go eat after the show, the Mexican place where you get your giant margaritas with six straws. Yes. So there's a couple good hangouts right there in Chicago, too. Good places for everybody to meet up. Kyle Tucker Purple. <clears throat> Yeah, in-person heckling is pretty good. My one and only appearance ever on camera was during last year's. Yeah, it was. So pools. I broke like three packs. You were nervous. Well, I don't know how to do that. I didn't go to my breaker school yet. Sam makes me break a lot, actually, at the National. Not a lot, but enough. Pools. I think I did several at the Tops booth, didn't I? Yeah, see, Hippie, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> Team bag of nothing behind me. <laughs> Upton. Flashback. Yeah, Thursday and Friday are great for hanging out. I will die if you do that. Uh, the rookies. Sanchez, purple. Oh, God. <laughs> what if he tries to lick a Chris Bryant that I pull? <laughs> Could happen. Hotel breaks, you just never know what's going to happen. You out of your Molina high number? It was a box of chrome, wasn't it? I couldn't remember what the product was we were doing. I love this card. This is one of my other favorite cards, I think. Rosario Purple. New Age Performer Acuna. No, UCCF. <laughs> we can't. It's a cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> Devers, purple. High number, Vasquez. Uh, it depends, dead poop. Sometimes it helps. If there's a big old, you know, loogie on it, it could get better. Gross. Segura. Purple. <clears throat> Flashback. Baez. Purple. I always fall behind during the... High number Altuve. Hot boxes. Yeah, it's hard. Hot box. A lot of stuff to sleeve and top load. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just for the rip cards. There's a Syndergaard. Purple. We'll convert you eventually. Scope. Purple. That looks like... It is. It's just a, oh, it's a high, high number. number. Oh. That was an action. Well, most of the high numbers have the action variations. Do they? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why I get confused. It's kind of strange this year. They changed it up a little. Nemo. Purple. That looks like one. Yep. Action variation for the Braves. Ozzy Albies. Cool Breeze. <clears throat> Action variation. Wind chimes cards, yeah. What? Otani purple. <clears throat> Juan Soto. High number. Trevor Story purple. Then and now. Herrera, purple, and a scratch off Freddie Freeman. Also Atlanta, cool breeze. Seems like teams are coming in runs on this one. We had a mm -hmm. bunch of Astros in a row, a bunch of Nationals, now we're getting Braves. I was going to say that, but I just didn't. There's a Rizzo, purple. Oh, here come the Cubs. Cubbies. This looks different. I don't know why. It's a high number. Perez. Poor Salvi. mini dog cards for whatever reason when i read that i read mini hot dog cards instead of mini dog cards. that would be kind of cute tiny chicago dog tiny chili cheese dog if there was a hot case i would just quit 
Yeah, he might. I'll just walk out and be like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. He's just so thankful that the numbers are better on these this year. Like, way better. Well, we're what, almost four cases in now? Hey! Oh, look at that. We got a poster. Print run to 70. Yelich. Milwaukee. Beantown Bush Posers. It's your reward for that awesome name. I'm not going to open it all the way up. I don't want to break it. it oh, look, Sam. <laughs> look into his eyes. That's awesome. Congrats on that. Love the posters. I want to see one opened up, but I also don't want to break it, so. I will not. We yeah. got to see his eyeballs. Ideally, we would go to a Cubs game during the National. Only problem we have is we don't know what our break schedule looks like until basically the week before. So it's hard to pre-plan too much stuff. But yeah, in the past we have went to uh, Cubs games and actually White Sox game too. Yep. Altuve high number. So we'll have to see if they're in town or not. Yeah, the problem is Sam doesn't get a schedule until like the last minute. Ah, jeez. Somebody oh, saw that one. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't going to bring up your name in case you didn't see it, and it could just, you know... Slip past Slip you. past you. I don't... Like, whenever Sam pulls a cardinal or whatever, and he'll say, Jules, don't look, then I look, you know? So even if I could have missed it, I won't, so I didn't say your name. But I just say Sam, so it probably got his attention, too. I never see it when Sam pulls them. It's hard to see through the tears in my eyes. <laughs> but I know how it is. That's my manly man. Beefcake. <laughs> Melina, high number short print. Brewers are in town Friday through Sunday. Damn. I'd like to go Sunday. Because that way, everything's kind of done with, you know? The stress is over. All the crowds are gone. Yeah. What time is, is it a day game on Sunday? If it's a night game, that would be hard. But I guess either way, we'd have to stay then that night. Andor. Chrome to nine ninety nine. Yeah, we don't talk about minor league games in Chicago. There was an incident a few years ago. It was a, it was, it was a nightmare. I have not recovered. That's because he really, I, you never will recover. Not even trying to be funny, you no. will never get over that. That was a series of unfortunate events. If anyone wants to know what Sam wants for his birthday, or what Sam wants, what Ryan wants for his birthday this year, has to do with that awful story. God. It's still hard to find them. How much are they going for now? Yeah, over 100 last I saw. Yeah, just pull your money. Oh, God, and then he even brings up the team, too. Cle <laughs> Clevenger, Black Porter. ZM Pitcher's just... Trying to make me cry here in camera. Cranky Yankee. There's a black border Clevenger. It was in Cleveland, wasn't it? It wasn't in Chicago. Yeah, you're right. I had that backwards. Okay, Chicago's fine. Minor league games in Chicago. Oh, you're okay with minor league games somewhere else. I just can't ever look at Lake County again. Pools, high number short print. Quick, uh, long story, very short. Brian, you, you give Card King the story. <sighs> can make me relive it. Yeah, make it as short as you can, though. Rip the band-aid off. Wanted to go to a minor league game. We thought going to Lake County would be amazing because, uh, oh, what's his name? The Yankees prospect now. Uh, red hair guy. The door uh, scratch out for Cleveland. I can't remember his name. Um, Doesn't matter. Yankees a good player. <laughs> yeah, good player. Uh, he was playing there. Frazier, Todd Frazier, or not Todd Frazier, uh, Clint Frazier. Wow. Hicks high number short print. This is not a short story anymore. Going to see Clint Frazier. We find out it's also bobblehead night, and they were giving away Joe Boo bobbleheads from Major League. It was a Major League night theme. And these are some really nice looking bobbleheads. These weren't the cheap ones. So we get tickets, and we leave the show an hour early to get out there and go to the game. I was not expecting the traffic that we ran into. By the time we got to the game, all the bobbleheads were gone. They were doing a jersey auction that night as well. Sam and I got <gasps> outbid on everything. Look at this. A gold clubhouse collection. You out of your Molina relic. Dude. I can't believe we got a dime of flip stock 
and a gold relic. This is a good case. This is an awesome case. 82 of 99. Boo. You <laughs> CCF. I don't get this. Like, I wonder what the point of this little thing is. It's on all the relic cards. This little dude holding up the jersey. And he says, this one, this one is for me. Like, what? Well, they always have little comics on the I back know, of but the what is cards. the comic? What is the point of that one specifically? It's weird. I can't tell if I like the hand numbering on this. I guess I kind of do. That is awesome. Yeah, 60s humor. Although the red humor. really, really uh, doesn't match that orange and brown very well to me. I don't know. It's like the Bazooka comics. But anyway, to wrap up my awful story. Yeah, tell, I, finish I butchered, telling your story. Let's um, go. <laughs> did not get the Joby bobblehead that I left an hour and a half early for. Drove way too far. And trying to find those bobbleheads online. I mean, they're going for over 100 bucks a piece last I've seen them. I was looking forward to getting that bobblehead all week. Didn't happen. Yeah, he really was upset. Like, Didn't get to see Frazier. Altuve, um, high number. Didn't win any of the jersey auctions. And almost got pulled over on the way there, too. But we got away from that. It was a mess. There's a Soto high number short print. Yeah, there's a number of Altuve short prints. Now, if you had the Cardinals and you liked the Cardinals, you'd be very excited about it. We're all very partial to him. Stadium was empty. Yeah. High number, Taurus. Yeah, just one auto so far. We're overdue. Most cases have three autographs. We had one that had two. So we should be coming up with one here in this box. I hope so. John Bruce Dow Canton. Long name, Bruce Dow Canton. Pirates, Beantown Bush Posers. Yeah, historically, heritage cases only have three, maybe four autographs. So it's not that far off from what we traditionally see. But that two auto case was pretty rough. Yeah. Brew Crew 70s auto? Yeah, let's see that. We have not hit those yet. Nope. Saturday Cubs Brewers game is Topps Cubs trading card day. Is that a day game though? Corey Sanchez, high number. That's the only problem with the Cubs games, because if they're day games, obviously we're breaking, so we can't go. Well, we could go. Yeah, I could tell Sam. Eh, <laughs> Sam's not going. going. <laughs> I'm not wild about being there on Saturday anyway. Buster Posey, scratch off. All three are day games, yeah. That's the problem we have. Bay Area fan. Buster Posey. You hit a Pilot's Auto last year? That's awesome. We actually pulled a couple of those. High number to Grom. And our case breaks. Mm -hmm. but for whatever reason, we haven't seen the Brewers ones yet. I really hope you can, UCCF. If you can't, we won't hold it against you. But it would be really cool. There's an action Juan Soto. Nice. UCCF. Action one. <clears throat> Hotel break, margaritas and Cubs game. Yeah. That would be ideal. I know, uh, you know, we historically have a break or two or three at the Panini booth. We'll do one at the Tops booth, sometimes a TriStar break. So just depending on what days those get scheduled... Like I said, we usually don't know until about a week before we go to the show, so it's very difficult to plan a lot of stuff during the day. 
So we do most of our hanging out in the evenings. Yeah, the pilots had to have been more common because we pulled one probably every other case. Right, Ida? <laughs> I want to be a CSG groupie. <laughs> Uh, can I not call myself that anymore now that I do breaks right? I don't have to We're all put groupies. myself in a, <laughs> myself to be in that kind of place. Even Sam's groupie of his own breaks. Is he? Yep. I'll have to get some uh, Jules breaks swag for this year. I still have those pins. No one wants pins anymore. Scoop. I have stickers and pins. I think that's all I have left. Breaker of the month? He's already downgrading him. Breaker of the year. Breaker of the century. Clubhouse collection, Marte. No autograph in this one. Pirates. Pittsburgh, Beantown, Bush posers. Yeah, we need to do another uh, CSB Nike shoe giveaway. I wish I had bought more of them. CSB those are picks. those were really cool. Kiermaier, kind of a short print. I wonder if Sam still wears those. I don't think he wears them on a regular basis, but at the national and stuff. I think he wore them at one of his like tops events or whatever. That's a good idea, UCCF. That's a good idea. I'll wear it. Kiermaier looks like a poor man's mojo. Let's High see. number short print, uh, Trevor Story. Can you see mojo in there? A little bit. Yeah. Kiermaier's cute. But the way they edit the photos, everybody's eyes look really weird. Like zombie eyes. That's what we said. That's how they looked in the 70s. Did they? Like zombies? That's the worst part about getting t-shirts made, is that you can't individualize them without them being like 60 bucks a piece. But if we made a whole bunch that were the same, you know, obviously it's way cheaper. Or we could just get out puffy paint, puffy t-shirt paints and... Create your own. Create your own shirts. J.D. Martinez. Or like what I did with that Catan one where you you print it out on, you know, the computer, on the printer and then iron it on. It looks terrible. Yeah. But... I did that once our own logos. for our Catan games. The CSB shirts that Sam has right now in the store are actually really nice. Best I don't know if ever. anyone's seen those. I just like them because they're super soft. Mm -hmm. Lynn, Nolan, Ryan. For the lot. For the lot. Yeah, we played, we played like hardcore played Catan for a couple years with our friends. Like, every weekend we had all the expansions at the time. I mean, we haven't played in probably five years now, but that was our go-to game. And then we have a lot of card games and stuff now, too. Munchkins and uh, Exploding Kittens and Ticket to Ride. That's Ticket to Ride, one. yeah. Crawford. We could have a game night, too. Probably not. There's too much to do, but it would be fun to have a game night. Well, that's what we ought to do, is get everybody up there a day early before the show even starts so we can hang out. I know that's inconvenient for a lot of people to have another day on. I wanted to see um, Hamilton when I was up there. Just can't do everything. <laughs> He'll be walking around the show, rip it, rip it! Oh my god, you see... <laughs> That's going to have to be for later. <laughs> I, that, I think the national floor might frown <laughs> upon that. Uh, Trey Turner, high number short print. <laughs> what? As long as there's no red ink on it. <laughs> Be a metal mini. 
Is that a snort? Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. If I really laugh hard, I'm going to embarrass myself. So I have to try to not do that. <laughs> 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 Arnado, I never short print. Oh, it works so well. <laughs> See what happens, Brian? <laughs> I am still a dork, guys. Like, it's killing me. I'm at an hour 15. That's where I was last time, wasn't it? I don't need to go any faster. CSBHR. I think that's Omni, isn't it? Hi, uh, high number. Not high number. <laughs> this Reset. is what happens. Reset. Hold on. <clears throat> Refractor Chrome to 570 Padre Rookies. Mm -hmm. San Diego, cool breeze. That's what happens. Got me all thrown off. Your boys are too much. High number Jansen. And the Heritage Dress is finally starting to get to me. Yeah. It's getting dusty in here. Mm-hmm. I told you. Well, it wasn't you. I was telling Brian. Brian that. I was going to have trouble this morning. I knew it. But Straposi scratch off for the Giants. Bay Area fan. Yeah, I'd say so. Most qualified for what? HR. Oh, yeah. Acuna. High number short print. For sure. Omni's the best of us. Wait, what? There's a Braves rookie black border. That's neat. See, I like that one too. Yeah. I think that one looks neat. It's a really good card. Atlanta, cool breeze. See, those are the kind of cards that'll get a lot of attention as soon as one of those rookies heats up later in the year. Mm hmm. I'm going to go with Kyle Wright on that one. Oh, Red Ink! Otani! Jeez. Dang, this case has been amazing! Wow. UCCF! A 68-70 Red Ink Otani. <laughs> well, that just happened. Wow. I think our cases are uh, going in the right direction. That is so cool. Hold on, let me let Ryan put it in. In a top loader, and I'll we can view it again and admire it. That's why I put it in in protection. Careful, careful. Oh okay. God! Stop <laughs> it! Look at that! Oh, that's so cool. It's the best part. The best part of breaking is getting to see this kind of stuff, and I get to hold it. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Rip it! No. <laughs> that is well centered. Corners look pretty good, don't they? Yeah. How's the back? It's pretty sharp. That is a mm. nice card. It is really cool. Congrats, UCCF. I'm glad we were you were able to uh, get in on this one. It was waiting for you. It is a perfect card. It is really really nice and that's what we were saying the autographs in this i know the 1970s design is not the best but the autographs look great yeah the base is just repetitive but yeah the the hits look great he's gonna lick that one <laughs> wow such a cool card <clears throat> great Never... case wow that's fun we already had such a great case going Ben and Tendi, that just ben Tendi took it to a whole new level. That's so cool. The sun is missing. Still looks super nice, though. Man, what a case. 
Good news is the other two cases came from the same place, so. Lester. Maybe they'll stay hot. And for everybody that missed out on Heritage, we are getting one last Heritage shipment in another week or so. So we'll try to do some more Heritage breaks mixed with uh, Donruss next week, I think. Oh, yeah. So we aren't completely moving on, but we will have some new stuff for you guys. Hi, number Minea. And then after the Donruss, about the time that baseball season starts, I think we'll have to bust out the spring cleaning mixers. Ooh, yeah. See what we have left over laying around, throw it into a big pile and call it a mixer. Those are always fun. Marvel, we have the last two boxes of masterpieces from that case. And that is all the Marvel we have left. Selma for the Phillies. So we'll do our last Marvel break uh, sometime next week as well. It's Danita. That's our new guy. Got that original. Mikey Mackey, I agree with you. As I said, Omni's the best of us. That looks like an action. Yep. Lindor, it's also a high number. Not all the actions are high numbers, are they? Not all of them are, but most high numbers do have an action. Yeah. Lindor for the Indians. Or I should say, most of the action cards are high numbered. Okay. Well, I was going to say the opposite, Brian. Maybe Omni will rub off on Sam. You never know. Goldschmidt, high number. Can't underestimate the power. The lost guys. Uh, scratch off Lindor, Cleveland Indians. See, same thing again. Back to back. Why are we the same team? Duplicates. Yeah, we got two posies, two Lindors, and two Trouts. That's kind of unusual. Usually for the scratch off, they're pretty diverse. I'm trying to be positive, guys. <laughs> Korea, high number short print for the Astros. Could happen. There you go. New age. Meet in the middle. Middle. Oh no. Sam would never say howdy folks. That's there would be death before that would happen. There is a Otani high number short print. I can't believe we got a red ink Otani. This is fun. Flashback. And next, I think we have a random case. There's a refractor chrome to 570 Buster Posey for the Giants. Bay Area fan. What did you just hear? Oh, someone told you? Yeah, this yeah. has been a pretty hot case. This has been an amazing case. Not even exaggerating. Rizzo, high number short print. Even some of the black parallels. We've got top rookies. Would have been funny if Sam had came in with the howdy folks. <laughs> what? Well, we were talking about you, so that's probably why, why you felt it necessary to check in at the moment. Yeah, check out this beauty. Show me, show me. It's here, it's here. Calm down. Had to finish my pack. <clears throat> yeah. It's a beauty. It's some other pretty nice cards in here, too. Yeah, we also got this. Coin card. Coin card. Really neat one. Yep. Right, exactly. Mess that one up. High number short print, Muncie. We 
Yeah, what? Card King. Definitely. What if we did a random break where we don't random the teams until the end of the break? That'd be kind of... Could you imagine how that would go? That'd be kind of fun. So everybody oh. would have a shot at that Otani? There's another autograph for us, guys. One of the uh, action full-size rookie. For the Padres, Urias. That's San Diego. Cool breeze. That's just cruel. <laughs> <laughs> it would be pretty funny. Yeah, they would. Yeah, there's a lot of that kind of stuff that would be fun to do, but you just, yeah, just business-wise, it. yeah, it's not the best business decision. But if we... How would the people in this break feel, though, if everybody thought they had a shot at that Otani? Yeah. Upton, high number, short print. Yeah, this was a really good pick. It was, yeah. It was definitely our best by far. Right. It would be fun, though, if you had people who really trusted, you know, the system. Diamondbacks, Black Border, Boxburger. Beantown Bush Posers. Sneaky Padres. Bias, high number short print. Yeah, it'd have to be a, yeah, just a side thing, I think. We got a really good assortment of oh, uh, yeah, Sam. cards. You guys see the poster we got. Hold uh, on, don't leave yet. You may cry. That's okay. I'll show you as soon as this pack's done and Ryan's finishing. Getting stuff ready for the hit recap. High number Encarnacion. All right. Look at this. Ha, no. Look at his eyes. Howdy, folks. <laughs> Love it. Thought of you when we pulled that one. All right. So, we got a real quick random to do. Oh, yeah. For the oversized box toppers. So we will do the blue box. Random eight times over it stops on with number eight. We'll get those. My boy. <laughs> Hippie. Here's... <laughs> he's he's a, sure he's going home with nothing. Oh yeah, and a flip stock card. We got so much stuff. Uh, Omni Sire. Dang, Omni Sire. Hold on, let me. Oh, you get the Otani that I like so much. Yay, Omni Sire. Box top house are yours. All right, hit recap. Where should we start? Mm, God, so much stuff. There's those. Yeah, it was a solid, super solid case. Okay, here's the big boy. I know, isn't that a great name? <laughs> action. I was calling him Mr. Omni, then I saw the, that name and I was like, oh yeah, even better. And finally, right there. So, hit recap for case break number four. <clears throat> I think we'll just start out with this one. 68 of 70 red ink Otani autograph. It's a thing of beauty. Admire it. Other autographs were a Bregman and an Urias. Oh, I also got this awesome Heritage Mint card. The dime for Bob Gibson Cardinals. That one is numbered four of ten. And we got a gold clubhouse collection, 82 of 99. Yadier Molina. Other clubhouse collections, <clears throat> Marte, Tyon, Braun, Trout, Perez, Zobrist, and Paxton. Our flip stock. Sam, you'll like this one too. Uh, Dominic Kersh uh, Kershaw from the NLCS. So our flip sock, that one's number to five. 
It's not numbered, but it's out of five. We got a team name color, Altuve for the Astros. Black Borders, uh, Braves Rookies, uh, Boxberger, Clevenger, Alcantara, and Boat. Is it Boat? Bodie. Bodie. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Action Variation. Kopech, J.D. Martinez, Lindor, Jansen, Harper, Albies, Soto, Refractor Chromes to 570, Padres Rookies, Harper, and Buster Posey. Regular Chrome to 999, Mancini, Anduar, Correa, uh, Astros Rookies, and Benintendi. Last but not least, Scratch Offs, uh, Posey, another Posey, Lindor, Freddie Freeman, Starlin Castro, Lorenzo Kane, Kershaw, Molina, Chris Davis, Michael Trout, and another Michael Trout. We also got this Yelich, Yelich uh, poster. 